Do you believe that Google has been, has been brought out here in some question is biased? Uh, Congressman, it's really important to me. Hey guys, I'm Adrian Ramirez. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today, I'm going to be sharing the best moments from Google's congressional hearing. It took me a couple of days to go through the whole congressional hearing, even though it's only a couple of hours long. All I ask is for you to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't. In the congressional hearing, Google CEO testified before the House Judiciary Committee on Tuesday for three and a half hours while lawmakers grilled him on a wide range of issues, including potential political bias on the company's platform, its plans for a censor search app in China and its privacy practices. The hearing itself was titled Transparency and Accountability, Examining Google and its Data Collection, Use and Filtering Practices. And many representatives poised questions on whether or not Google's search results were biased against conservative points of view. Without further ado, these are the best moments from the hearing. Our only witness today is Mr. Sundar Pichai. Mr. Pichai is the Chief Executive Officer of Google. Chairman, good luck. Ranking Member Nadler, distinguished members of the committee, thank you for the opportunity to be here today. More than 90% of all internet searches take place on Google or its subsidiary, YouTube, and they are curating what we see. Google has long faced criticism for manipulating search results to censor conservatives. Conservative individuals and organizations have had their pro-Trump content tagged as hate speech or had their content reduced in search results. So what are you going to improve that situation? Congressman, thanks for the question. If I may, uh, some of the studies you mentioned, we have investigated those. There are, there are other studies which have looked at that. We have found issues with the methodology and the sample size and so on. But let me step back and say, providing users with high quality, accurate and trusted information right. is sacrosanct to us. It's what our principles are, under business interests, our natural long-term incentives are aligned with that. We want to serve users everywhere. I have an iPhone, and if I move from here and go over there and sit with my Democrat friends, which will make them real nervous, does Google track my movement? Does Google, through this phone, know that I have moved here and moved over to the left? It's either yes or no. Uh, not by default. There may be a Google service which you've opted in to use, uh, and if... So Google knows that I am moving over there. It's, it's not a trick question. You know, you make $100 million a year, you ought to be able to answer that question. Does Google know, through this phone, that I am moving over there and sit next to Mr. Johnson, which would make him real nervous? It's his question. I, it's yes or no. I wouldn't be able to answer without looking at... Uh, you can't say yes or no. Uh, without knowing more details. Sir. Do you believe that Google has been, has been brought out here in some question is biased? Uh, Congressman, it's really important to me that we approach our work in an unbiased way. Do you way. believe that Google is biased? It's either yes or no. No, uh, no. How do you explain this apparent bias on Google's part against conservative points of view, against conservative uh, policies? Is it just the algorithm or, or is there more happening there? Congressman, I understand the frustration at seeing negative news, and you know I see it on me, on Google. There are times you can search on Google, and page after page there's negative news which we reflect. But what, what is important here is we use a robust methodology to reflect what is being said about any given topic at any particular time. And we try to do it objectively using a, a set of rubrics. It is in our interest to make sure we reflect uh, uh, what's happening out there in the best objective manner possible. Um, Ileana Murillo is Google's head of multicultural marketing. Does uh, Ms. Murillo do good work? I'm not directly familiar with her work, but uh, she's an employee of Google and, you know, uh, we are proud of her employees. Too. Your head of multicultural marketing said you were pushing to get out the Latino vote, paying for a ride to the, pol to the polls for the Latino vote, only in key states, and you're saying that's not accurate. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, we haven't found any evidence to substantiate it. So any she just made it up out of thin air the day after the election and wrote this email to your top executives, and it's not true? Uh, Congressman, I'm happy to follow up, but I think sh the employees today do their own activities. We don't want the follow up, I want the real answers right here in this committee. As I said earlier, we have looked into it, we didn't find it. Did any you push to get out the key vote? And, and I, I would say the two most 
populous states for, for Latinos would be California and Texas. Did you push to get out the Latino vote and pay for people to go to the polls in California and Texas? We as a company didn't have any effort to push out votes for any particular demographic. That would be against our principles. We participate in the civic process in a, in a, in a nonpartisan way, and, and we think it's really important we do it that way. The operating environment in China uh, has uh, deteriorated with respect to surveillance, censorship, uh, and the like since Google first made the decision in 2010 to leave. So I want to ask very specifically, are any employees currently having product meetings on this, on this Chinese project? And when, if not, when did those end? Uh, we have undertaken an internal effort, but right now there are no plans to launch a search uh, service in China, as I said earlier. Are there any current discussions with any member of the Chinese government on launching this app? Uh, currently, we are not in discussions around launching a search product in China. Are there any current discussions with members of the Chinese government about this? Uh, we are, you know, this effort currently is an internal effort, and uh, you know, I'm happy to, uh, you know, consult as well as be transparent to the extent we take steps towards launching a product in China. And who at Google is leading the Dragonfly effort? Uh, it's a, you know, our, our efforts around uh, building search, you know, it's, it's, it's undertaken by our search teams, but these are distributed efforts. It's a limited effort internally currently. Will you, Mr. Pichai, rule out launching a tool for surveillance and censorship in China while you are CEO of Google? Congressman, I, I commit to uh, engaging. One of the things which is important to us as a company, we have a stated mission of providing users with information. And so we always, I, we think it's in our duty to explore possibilities uh, to give users access to information. And, you know, I have that commitment, but, you know, as I said earlier on this, we'll be very thoughtful uh, and we will engage widely as we make progress. This is now the fourth hearing in a series of ridiculous hearings on the free speech of internet companies. A significant portion of this hearing was a waste of time because the First Amendment protects private individuals and corporations' free speech rights. So I'm going to search for Congressman Steve King. I'm going to hit the News tab. First article that pops up is from ABC News. It says, Steve King's racist immigration talk prompts calls for congressional censure. That's a negative article. But you don't have a group of people at Google sitting there thinking and trying to modify search results. Every time Steve King comes up, a negative article appears. That's not what's happening, right? We always <clears throat> operate for any query with the same set of principles. We are trying to reflect what is currently, you know, if it is newsworthy, what is currently being discussed about that, that, that phrase. Thank you. So let me just conclude here by stating the obvious. If you want positive search results, do positive things. If you don't want negative search results, don't do negative things. And to some of my colleagues across the aisle, if you're getting bad press articles and bad search results, don't blame Google or Facebook or Twitter. Consider blaming yourself. Um. Did Google design a prototype for a search engine that could be used in China to censor uh, content? Uh, Congressman, we have undertaken an internal effort. Uh, did, they, did you create a prototype? Though? There was a report in The Intercept that says a prototype for the censored search engine was designed. Did, we have, we have are they, developed are they, are and explored wrong? what search could look like if it, if it were to be launched in a country like China, and that's what we uh, explored. And, uh, and that, how, how many months was that project uh, ongoing? Uh, we've had the project underway for a while, and there have been other projects which we've undertaken for a while, and we've never launched them, too. So it could be a constantly exploring. How many, how many people were working on it? Uh, the estimates, uh, you know, uh, sorry, the number of engineers on the project have varied over time. At Ten? One, uh, at one point, we have had over 100 people working on it, it's my understanding. Who makes the judgment calls regarding content moderation at Google? Uh, uh, Chairman, it depends on the area. So, for example, if it's YouTube, we have, uh, you know, uh, very clear teams which are responsible for uh, YouTube content policies and they identified is it possible for a, a customer to write to them and say hey here's here's we, a concern I have we give clear channels for content creators to uh, you know to raise concerns back and we have clear avenues and 
and we also have had people who are responsible for these platforms, uh, including content moderation, appear here, uh, you know, and, 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 and I think they've consulted widely here, here too. I have a concern concerning China. Uh, in 2010, Google left the Chinese marketplace due to concerns over hack, hacking attacks, censorship, and how the Chinese government was possibly gaining access to data. I'm interested in what has changed since 2010 and how working with the Chinese government to censor research results are part of Google's core values. Do you understand my question? Congressman, uh, we, right now there are no plans for us to uh, launch a search product in China. Uh, we are, in general, always looking to see how best it's part of our core mission and our principles to try hard to provide users with information. We, we always have evidence based on every country we have operated in. Us reaching out and giving users to more information has a very positive impact, and, and we feel that calling. But right now, there are no plans to launch in China to the extent that we, uh, we ever uh, you know, approach a decision like that. Uh, I, I will be fully transparent, including with policymakers here. And, and engage and consult widely. So anticipating um, what took place in 2016 happening again, and, and this is specifically regarding um, what Russia did to foment racial tensions in the United States, and wanting to know how you are responding to that, where they called for you know fake protest, uh, either to get African Americans to turn out to protest something that was fake, or to have uh, white supremacists uh, be ginned up to attack communities of color. So specifically, what is Google doing to respond to that? We mainly saw, uh, with respect to Russia, uh, limited improper activity on our uh, ad platforms. But in general, uh, we, you know, we are not a social networking company uh, across the products we do. It's an area we haven't done well as a company. So we typically are in connecting groups of people, and that's not how Google mainly works today. And so we haven't seen that kind of activities on our platforms, but we are vigilant and, you know, and happy to share any findings which come through as we look into it more. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe. Share in the comments what you think about Google's congressional hearing. See you guys. Bye.